Hi, I'm Kyle, and I have a blog called allmediareviews.blogspot.com, and this is Amoeba, this is Amoeba, what's in my bag? Where did I get it, Amoeba? I was at Amoeba Records in Hollywood, California, uh, a week ago, today is Friday, uh, February 2nd, on, it was Wednesday evening, uh, January 24th. So, the first one I'm going to show... It's from the band Mew, and a copy of their 2009 album No More Stories. Really, the first album I they made they made that after I was a fan. Um, this is, I think, an original pressing actually that I got here. Very cool artwork, and the story behind this the reason why I never picked this up on vinyl is I wasn't buying vinyl when I first discovered them, but. Uh, um, yeah, and then I passed up on it many times, and then uh, I couldn't find it. So I was really happy to finally see it at Amoeba Records in Hollywood, California. Uh, my wife and I were in town to see Michael Nesmith of the Monkees, you know, do a show at the Troubadour. So we made the trip out there. I'm from Minnesota, of course. Uh, as far as No More Stories, which is not, it's a short title, it's a longer title would be... <laughs> As you can see, I'm going to hold the whole thing up there for... No more stories are told today. I'm sorry they hate, they washed away. No more stories. The world is gray. I'm tired, let's wash away. I believe that's what it is. It's close to that. It's a sweet record, a double album, as you can see, a double vinyl at least. Uh, very progressive. My favorite parts of this record, I guess, would be... I've always liked... Uh, what is it? Sometimes life, is, sometimes life isn't easy. Tricks of the trade, Hawaii, and um, the opening couple track, New Terrain, Interesting Palace Players, and Beach. But uh, it's really a suite, so I kind of almost, I don't know if I'd compare it to some other albums that are full suites, but it is almost like one more song, so it's like no more stories of the song. So. Mew are a band, of course, from, De from Denmark. The interesting thing also about this album is that it does not include original, I believe it's their original bassist. Yeah, because uh, Jonas, yeah, of course the, the names are, are listed on here in a, in a very weird way where they use at symbols and some other things in spots like for S's, as you can see. But um, one of the members had left the band. I'm, I'm not thinking of Bo. <laughs> Because Bo's left, the, just recently left the band. Um, it might have been Jonas, anyway, and he rejoined the band, the one who wasn't on this band, this album, uh, for um, plus minus in 2015, and then the new album that came out in 2017 last year. Um, why am I speaking on visuals? So, what else is in my bag from Amoeba Records? And I've been to some other Amoeba Records. I've been to the one in Berkeley, California, a number of times, but. I've never been to the one in Hollywood, which I guess by all accounts is probably the largest. Queensryche's album from 1991, I think it is. This is a re, maybe a reissue, Empire. And this, of course, includes their most well-known song, basically, in um, uh, Silent Lucidity, which I think holds up. I feel still holds up. Uh, you know, it's not my favorite song of all time, but my favorites, I've, I did a, some stuff on Queensryche, of course, on my channel in the past. Another Rainy Night, Empire, the title track. Um, anybody listening is a favorite, and uh, the be best I can. Della Brown, every song on this album is very good. It's not as progressive rock oriented, it's more song oriented, but it, it has enough twists and turns. This particular issue is a clear vinyl, like whatever, 180 gram heavyweight. And now this, for my personal collection, this more or less completes everything I would ever need from Queensryche. I have, I have every album going from this, the first EP or whatever you want to call that first album, this, um, all the way up through now um, Promised Land. So um, I'm not much of a Queensryche fan anymore, although there's one album that Chris DeGarmo played on that... Um, I have not heard in the 2000s. He either wrote and or played on a few songs. Um, 
The only, that'd be the only other one I would want would be the ones with Chris DeGarmo. Maybe the Todd Latore albums, one of the last two that I, I haven't spent enough time with. But um, yeah, here, uh, here on the Now Frontiers, the only other record by Queensryche that I even care for, that I can just off the top of my head, just thinking about their catalog because I kind of jumped ship once Q2K came up, came out rather in 2000 or one of one of the was 99 or 2000. So. So the, I got a couple more items in this bag, and I'm in California, and there's some stuff I put back I did not find in the shelf, but I was in California, and um, California band Dredge, of course, they had s some uh, items that I'd never seen before. This being just the, the promo for Bug Eyes. It's a promo, uh, it was a single, I guess you could say. It includes... I don't know how rare this is. You probably can find it on eBay or, or Discogs if you really looked. But uh, it's cool to own since I, I'm a huge fan of Dredge from Los Gatos. And actually, there's some news about Dredge. But um, And then this thing, this promo sampler, excerpt from Late Motif, which looks kind of like just like a CDR. This came out probably in the late 90s. Or, or two, because Late Motif came out in 1998. So there was some stuff I put back. They actually had a Dredge. SACD uh, from El Cielo, which is like, like a top 10 record of all time for me, but it was $50. Now, the, the odd thing is I, I went on to, to eBay to look and Discogs and see how much people were selling that specific thing for, and it was well over 100 in some cases. So actually, the $50 that Amoeba, Amoeba was selling it for, um, it, it was actually not too bad, but the, my counter argument to that is that uh, when am I going to ever be able to listen to it? I don't have an SACD player, so um, I kind of wish I would have bought it, but um, if it would have been a little cheaper, it would have been like 20 25 I probably wouldn't have been able to pass it up. But um, yeah, uh, I hope to make more trips to Amoeba, maybe the one in San Francisco, but uh, that's what's in my bag for uh, allmediareviews.blogspot.com. My name's Kyle, and thanks for watching. And check out all the, the What's in My Bag videos that Amoeba makes as well.